All right, we're back with another more random video in this channel. Um, today, this is the video that would surprise you a lot because a lot of you guys have seen the A-League news or the Adelaide United websites if you're a Reds Army fan. But Nestori Irwin Kunda has finally made a deal with transferring to a team that it is in a German called FC Bayern Munich. A lot of people were shocked about that news. Um, quite to say about that um, their news from Irwin Kunda, it's such a, a big milestone for for Irwin Kunda to make uh, an Adelaide United winger. So this 17 year old kid has finally made an experience and the deal has made official with four, uh, I think under 60 million dollars has made it finalized. This was a huge, huge signing for Irwin Kunda to make the dream come true. Not a lot of people were surprised about this huge announcement from the A-League's management. The Adelaide United has announced that the move transferring has started last Tuesday when Irwin Kunda has finally made that decision. The Tarzanian born teenager has like been called up to the Australian national side with at the age of 17. So it's a lot of it's a lot of potential that he can take as a young generation in the Australian's history that will go down in the books going to um AFC Bayern Munich for the German. He was like under um, Marco Tullio's uh, deal, just like under 60 million when he transferred to Celtic last season for Melbourne City. This was a uh, a transfer moment that Nestor Imkunda wasn't expecting. He thought it was like the early. He, he thought it, uh, this transfer wouldn't go on his way but luckily enough he was had the he has the opportunity to make that official and transfer that deal so that he play a team that he has never been played before so this is a, a experience for Nestor Irwin Kunda that get the Reds fans up on their feet this was uh, Irwin Kunda's uh, message about his interview I was a, a bit shocked I didn't think it would come this early but I'm just happy they've given me the opportunity to go with the squad Irwin Kunda said to have Matt Ryan, to have all those players that they give me advice on what to do, what not to do. It's going to be crazy for me. So Irwin Kunda has made that quite statement of what he's stepping up to, to the big league in Europe. Or m not big Europe, but a Europe team that he's looking forward to. He has been out like, he hasn't played in the Sydney FC game due to his like, suspension of his lesson um he has been through rough times about his actions when it comes to like some sort of refereeing and a lot of poor decision makings for him and he's i think he's going to be much more mature when he goes to the the squad of bayon monrick so i think he this kid's got a lot of talent and i think he can succeed what he can do and I know a lot of you guys watching knowing about Nerestor Irwin Kunda. As a wonderful supporter, he's a great guy. He's a great player in the A-League. Hopefully he can do something in in the next couple of weeks games before he's, tr he's moved in the new team at German. Uh, I don't know, man. Hopefully Nerestor Irwin Kunda has got something to do when he probably gets back in the A-League and gets his job gets the work done for Adelaide United in the upcoming games because uh, he missed out the Sydney FC game Adelaide United was was thrashed down against Sydney FC I was fully not surprised about the football performance at Cooper Stadium Sydney FC were more impressive uh, so far against the Reds t uh, last game I don't know Joe Lolly with finally redeemed himself and getting the boys back on track of what Sydney FC needed but yeah, Sydney FC were the better team against the Adelaide United. Nestor Ian Kuna was shocked about that one game suspension against Melbourne Victory, the original rival derby. He realized that that mature ac actions were causing him to like stay out of the sideline during the game against Sydney FC. So he was disappointed about that poor decision. If you haven't guys, guys seen it, it was shocking and you gotta be thinking like oh my god is this actually for real like 
he's paying a, a fucking over 6 point million significant price that Ivan Kuna would have to transfer making that deal finalizing and I thought to myself is this actually happening or what Ivan Kuna is making that decision making on and I I was surprised about that news when I scrolled up onto my social media that got me out of the attention of, to making this video on and making my thoughts on Ivan Kuna's transformation this was making that expectation and distraction to concentrate that game for Adelaide United through the progress so his immediate move dreams come true with his like a high profile deal with FC Bayern Monwick but it has to be understood that he wanted to do that because it's his, de his decision he wanted to experience being the prodigy on from playing for Adelaide United to this and he will join the 33 time Bundesliga champions on a long term deal after this conclusion of the A League season till the remaining. So, this, is the, uh, this means like the multi year deal, which it was reportedly worth under just $5.8 million to plus add on to. And I think that's an understatement for Yala United's decision on Un Kunda's life because. You know, he wanted to make that that official. Quite a potential like from Australian since 2006. They have been struggling with getting some players that are really quality. But until then, they have announced that Ivan Kunda was the Socceroos squad player to be added and selected in the team. And he has a lot of talent of what he can do for some good reasons. And this puts a lot of effort to make this up to something that he wanted it to make and what to showcase around Australia that he will be putting in history books. I swear with uh, A-Leagues uh, for Ian Kuna, he, ha he loves to kick some goals, he loves to bang more goals against any teams that would, would make him much more easier what you think of like in some quite a few games. but. I'll tell you what, he's got, I don't know, I don't know what I can say, but watching him play some few games, he's so entertaining, not gonna lie. He lo he's so hype, energetic, and it puts a lot of smile from the players from Adelaide United and the coach and the staff members as well, and also the fans. It puts a lot of smile watching him doing his own things so that he knows that he's having fun in this field. I think he can do something in the German league of Bundesliga in German so he can do the same thing and hope he can succeed some few awards maybe maybe a champion dream if Bayern Munich can reach up with some champions right in the progress like maybe next season this is Nisnuri in Kuna's game plan to be monitoring with and I hopefully he his actions and behavior is controlled if he can if he can like control that behavior himself because I'm not trying to jinx it but all I can say to Nestor Irikunda is we love watching you playing with some high potential experience games in the Adelaide United jersey as well for Wonder supporters giving to you so it has been called that the Australian Wonder Kit uh, that's what People call him around in Australia. People mostly, I've just heard, Australian Wonder Kid. That's like a, a pretty good nickname to make up with for Ewan Kunda. He, he is like the kid that you would be, be aware of because, man oh man, his goal is a, such a screamer. Puts the goals that you would never expect it to put in. But the thing is like, Australians right we never have like these kind of experienced players that's come from across the nations like from players like uh, say for Marcus Antonsen from Sweden he's a, a Sweden player for the Wanderers coming from a Leeds United player there's a lot of common things that you would never seen some players are coming from internationals to Australia playing from local clubs that are in the A-Leagues 
competition, men's Aizuzu. It's such a rare thing to see from the A-League's uh, announcement from players wanting to give themselves uh, an opportunity to play Australian's rules league in this competition. Uh, but that's that's typical Australian, man. Like we're not so much popular in this in this sport league. But what can you say? A league is A league, you know. You can't. It can't be like Premier League. But it will never happen in some case. But I do got to admit from that last game when Irwin Kunda has played against Melbourne Victory, he has been entertainment. Like you can't deny what he's done, and you gotta give that like disrespectful from uh, Irwin Kunda's performance. He's been enormous from Adelaide United. This kid. He knows of what A-League's been like over the past, like, I don't know how many years that he's been playing for A-League, but this 17-year-old, he's still a teenager. And this this kid, he's, he's been full of an experience when playing against other teams that are equivalent. But I don't know, man. This kid is just drawn to the players that has been fully expectating the the fact that he can do anything much to learn the skills of what bringing him up to Adelaide United players to like learn from Irwin Kunda's skills and that's exactly what Adelaide United has been been good at like I think Adelaide the Reds have have a lot of improvements like starting from the season right now starting from first they've they've been strong right now comparing to all A-League teams in this season. I believe that Adelaide United can do something much more better with Nesto even Kuna to lead up the charge, pushing the, the limits onto the players that will put them and succeed the achievements of what they can do in the next couple of A-League games on what's waiting ahead. I do believe United can do something about it. And I would love to see Nesto Irin Kuno putting some huge goal screamers and putting us some entertainment in the Paramount Plus TV show. And I wish that he would stay in Adelaide United for a couple of years, but that's the, the decision making that he has made. But he's, this kid is really good, I'll tell you. He's a very, very good and entertaining kid that he loves to showcase and show the skills against any team that would surprise us a lot. And that's the kind of Australians that we need. We need like entertaining players that puts a lot of show. And I do believe Aaron Corner is the first guy that, or maybe not first guy, but he's the, he's the guy that I've seen in some couple of games that puts a lot of entertainment throughout the whole game that will suppress the the segment of what he can do. So this was a, a big deal from Nesto Irwin Kunda as the, it's a great payday deal from Adelaide United to FC Bayern Monrich making that deal as for Nesto Irwin Kunda to make that transfer. So if you maybe if you are a Bayern Monrich supporters watching right here, you can get hyped right now because this prodigy young kid is coming to German. You've been amazing. Uh, he's he's amazing, an entertainment player that I can just watch banging some goals. It puts a lot into my feet. All right, guys. So this was a bit short on my thoughts about Nesto Irunkunu's transformation. I know it's a bit short, but uh, this is just a video that I just made because it was so random that I I just called up from that social media announcement. But yeah, I did make my thoughts on the wing, the kids' movement from Adelaide United to Bayern Munich. But if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you drop a like and turning that bell notification uh, so you never miss any videos that I'll be uploading. And let me give me, tell me, share me your thoughts on the comment section of what your thoughts are from Ian Corner's transformation. But yeah guys, so this is JG's right here and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.